Hi everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel for another Stardew Valley video. I'm so excited because I've been playing Stardew Valley really hard recently and currently we are in fall year two. Um, yeah, I have had a lot of stuff get done, you know, like a lot of changes or whatever. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and check out the farm. Today I wanted to, I just watched a video of, I forgot what her name is, Easy Lily? Anyways, she said that if you have this letter here, you can like find that secret or that lost necklace from Abigail's. It says, I brought a necklace from mom, but lost it somewhere near the bathhouse. She's going to freak out if she notices it's missing. So I guess if I find it, I can give it to Abigail or something like that. I don't remember, but something like that. Anyways, it's so let's check our mail. We have a letter from lovely Evelyn and she says, hello, dear. I hope your farm is doing well. I'm sending you a little something from my kitchen. I hope it didn't crumble in the mail. A nice little chocolate cake. What a sweet lady. But yeah, it's currently fall time. As you can see, I just need to water some of my crops because, you know, I'm running low on sprinklers. I am running low on iron and gold for sure. And I need to really go and get some more because, yeah, that's what I need to craft like sprinklers and stuff. So, yeah, don't mind that. But once I'm done watering my crops, we'll get on with our other activities. But yeah, how are you guys doing? I hope everybody is having an amazing day so far or night, wherever you are. Um, Yeah, I'm having a hot day. With a hot day. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm having a pretty good day besides it being scorching hot, obviously. Because, um, oh, I'm hot right now. But I had to wake up super early today to go to the freaking doctor and it was like the earliest appointment i've ever had in my life like a 7 a.m appointment and it was torture but i mean i took a nap so whatever i think i'm fine for now okay so i can show you everything new that i have on my farm so let's start off with um getting our gold because i wanted to make more sprinklers that's the only reason i crafted my gold bars for some sprinklers so if we can make some that would be perfect we just need that and uh and my extra chest back here because i ran out of space okay so how many can we make three sprinklers which isn't bad i would say like thank the lord but i really do need to go get some more gold and iron and stuff i just haven't really been mining for that purpose yet but here we go we can place a few more sprinklers down so it will be a little easier um to manage my crops but yeah okay moving on so i unlocked my greenhouse right and i have three things growing in there one is like a star fruit i think an ancient fruit and then some kind of rare seed so yeah, that's all I have in here. I just come in here and water them every day. I do need to get a sprinkler, so it'll just be easier and can water itself. I have my horse here. I wanted to move my buildings because... Oh, oh okay. Ruin everything. Um, because they're not really like... I feel like I would rather have that one moved all the way to the edge and to have a gap in the middle because it's kind of bothering me. But this is where my production areas are going to be. I don't have that many stuff, that much stuff right now. Like obviously I just have some two preserve jars and that, but I did make some rows. So hopefully we can sell that for some money. Um, blobfish row and uh, we have um, lava eel row because I finally caught a lava eel. And yeah, super, super exciting. <laughs> I try giving my animals like grass starters, but they just eat them up so quick and it's just like I cannot keep spending money and I can't find enough fiber to just like keep making them. So it's like I have to literally go and buy hay even though I don't want to. <laughs> um, I wish I had the automatic like filler, but that's probably with the next barn <laughs> coop upgrade, not barn. But yeah, it's been a while since I've played Stardew Valley on my channel. I know a lot of people don't really watch it, but I mean, I like playing it. So I'm like, whatever, I'm still going to play and enjoy my time, you know. <laughs> Hopefully you guys will too. Okay. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Yeah, now let's head down here to my barns. I have two barns now. One is a fully like deluxe barn. Oh, my blobfish want green tea and my, I forgot that... I forgot that my lava eels, they want um, two diamonds, so I have to get to that. But I have a pig here. I'm just waiting for it to grow and give me a truffle. 
I think that's where you get truffles from because um, that would complete my whole community. Why am I watering my goat? Like, okay, that would complete my community center. Why am I milking a pig? <laughs> I'm all distracted here. But yeah, that would finish my community center off. I don't know if you have anything else after that. But like, I'm super excited for that because I've never finished the community center before and I want to see what happens. So we're definitely going to go um, to Robin's really quickly and then we'll make a stop to the little um, bathhouse place as well. But I just need to sell my stuff. I wonder how much this is going to give me. I've never made um, that before. So it's just like, I'm excited to see what happens but yeah let's head over i love having a horse now because i just travel everywhere on it because it's so much faster than just literally like walking everywhere like no thank you <laughs> okay let's head in please move one of my my um buildings but yeah a lot of progress has been made which is literally so amazing Ooh, perfect, perfect. I just had to do it because it was so uneven. But yeah, I love making progress on my farm because it just makes me happy to see like how far I've come. Okay, so if we fish in this little thing, we should find it. So let's see if that's for reals. No need to go that far out. I can't even put it in right, it's literally okay i think it's in there even though it's on the rock right now see okay we have the ornate necklace and it says a fancy necklace found in the water outside of the bath house it's still wet i mean hopefully we give it to abigail i'm not sure i don't want to like give it to someone random and then then be like what are you freaking doing you know so let me look this up before i freaking fail before i'm a failure here <laughs> okay okay so yes you can give it to only caroline or abigail i think i'm just gonna give it to abigail but i mean i have to find her first if i see caroline first i'll just give it to her i don't know if it really matters excuse me so yeah hopefully i can find them i forgot where they live okay at pierre's no it's closed on wednesdays okay so we're gonna have to find them out in the world somewhere if they're there. <laughs> We're on a mission here. There's Kent. We have Evelyn. Where does Abigail hang out? Where have I seen her before? Hmm. I don't know. We have to look around. There's Harvey, I think. I'm stuck. jazz penny and oh my gosh it is about to be elliot's birthday i just remembered so i'm gonna definitely have to get him something good that he'll love okay there's leah i'm missing all these fruits let me just start picking them up oh abigail where the freak are you girly girly girl i hope she's out and about i don't know where she well should we just give it to caroline i mean it's the first person we've seen so why not she said, what's this? My old necklace? That's strange. I didn't even notice it was missing. Well, thanks for ringing it back, Joel. So I guess that's just a little task. You don't really get anything for it. But I mean, it's pretty cool to like know, you know, and do. Because like, I mean, there's like so much to Stardew Valley. And it's just like crazy the things that you discover that you can do. Like, I don't know. Let's head back to the farm to fix up my little um, shed area. I could use my other shed for storage, to be honest, and put all my chests in there. But if I break my chests, will everything fall out? I don't remember how that works, because that would suck. Maybe that's like an off-camera thing, so I don't freaking bore you guys. But I'm going to chop down some trees so that I can get some wood for the flooring. But yeah, I really need to make more um, preserve jars, and like I need to make a whole pla place for kegs so that I can like make more income. You know what I mean? I don't even need to chop down another tree. Okay. I planted some trees around here because I was like, I feel like it's going to be boring if I don't have trees anywhere. So yeah, they're growing, taking a while, obviously. But how many do I need? Like, I say three or two. Who knows? 
There we go. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, I have these two little things that I just had chilling over here. I'm just gonna put one on each side. What are these for again? I don't even remember, to be honest. But yeah, there's this cute area or whatever. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and put some of my stuff up. My chocolate, delish, delish chocolate cake up from Sweet Evelyn. I love Evelyn. Like, we're besties. Um, she gave me a coffee machine. Like, I love that woman to death. <laughs> Okay, yeah, let's sell this stuff. I need to check my fruit cave. I did not even do that. So let's go ahead and do that as well. Just doing some daily tasks, having fun. I just, oh, I'm sorry. Our horse can't ever fit anywhere narrow. Okay, let's pick up a few things. I just leave some fruits because I, I don't know. I just do. <laughs> so yeah, that's what I'm picking up for now. Where did my horse go? Oh, Okay, I'll put you up, little horsey. Oh, but by the way, Elliot, my hubby, just went on some, like, whole book tour thingy, and he was riding me every day, and it was just, like, so cool and, like, weird, because I didn't even know that could even, like, happen, you know? It was, like, crazy to me. He was just riding me every day and going on his little book tour around the world or whatever, and I was like, yes, king, go off. <laughs> Anyways, let me put my cake in the fridge. I think I'm saving this for Elliot's B-Day, which is in two days. So, yeah. I hope I don't forget about that. <laughs> but, yeah, guys. I think that's about it for this episode. I just wanted to do a short little Stardew Valley Let's Play kind of thing where I find that necklace. Because I thought it was just a cool thing to do. For now, next episode, hopefully, hopefully, we um, find a find get a truffle because that would complete our community center bundle and i would be so freaking ecstatic you don't even know but we made 5702 gold today um let's see how much did we make from our row see one of the rows gives you a thousand and that's the lava eel row so we have to really start making more of that um but ooh, our mayonnaise did good too because it's gold Ugh, amazing love it we love to see it Anyways, child, <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed this short little um, video of my Stardew Valley Let's Play. Um, thank you to everyone who watches my Stardew Valley Let's Play. I'm super thankful because I like doing it and I hope you like seeing it. And also thank you to everyone who watches my videos as well. I'm so, so happy with all the support I've been getting lately. And I have 78 subscribers right now and we're moving on up. Let's go. Uh, so I'm so thankful for you all and I love you all. And if, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave me a like, subscribe for more content like this, <laughs> and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys!